This episode is brought to you by babysitting, nap time, and the second cup of coffee. All right, welcome to another five minute bolo. This is episode two. In this one, we're gonna talk about pre-owned wrestling shoes. I should also mention that this episode is brought to you by nap time. So I'm gonna to try to squeeze this in in five minutes while this child is sleeping. Pray for me. Anyway, let's get started. So we're not gonna pay attention to new wrestling shoes and I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna look at pre-owned wrestling shoes. The first thing that I want you to do just look over my shoulder here as we're going to search wrestling shoes. Let's see how many current listings there, there are for just that keyword. Okay. So right here, you can see there are 9,400 listings for wrestling shoes of those. Let's find out how many are listed as new and how many are listed as pre-owned. So it should say down here somewhere. Okay. Now 7,700 of the listings currently with wrestling shoes in the, in the title are brand new. 1600 are used, but something interesting is going to happen when we check the solds. So let's look at the solds now. I'm going to go here, sort by sold, and you can see almost 4,000 have sold in the last 90 days. Of those, only 1400 of them were new listings. On the other hand, 2500 are pre-owned. So that should tell you that the market is much hotter for pre-owned shoes than the, than the market is for new wrestling shoes. So lesson number one here is anytime you see a pre-owned wrestling shoe in the store, put it in your cart. It's almost a guarantee to sell based on these numbers. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the advanced model. We're going to look for ones that are selling for over $50. Okay, so if you look here, I have wrestling shoes as the key term that I'm going to use. We're going to look for the sold listings. We're going to show items priced from $50, okay? We only want buy it now. We're going to skip on auction for now, just to keep this simple. And of course, the condition we want used. And then I'm going to keep it at end date recent first. So let's go into search. Now, of the 15 or 16, excuse me, the 2,400 that have currently sold in the last 90 days, you can, well, it should say around here that there were around, let's take a look. Buy it now, 400 that have sold for over 50 bucks. Now, there are three in particular from this list that you'll wanna pay even closer attention to. The first one is shoes that are branded by Rulon Gardner. He was uh, an Olympic wrestler, gold medalist. I believe he won the gold medal in 2000. His shoes command a super high price. You look at these right, right here, it says Rulon. Best offer of 172. We're going to scroll down a little bit. Um, I see Dan Gable. That's the second one you'll pay attention to. Dan Gable, also an Olympic gold medalist. His shoes command a huge price for, for wrestling shoes pre-owned. Okay. The third one is Kale Sanderson. We may see him on the list. He, again, another, Olympi another uh, Olympic gold medalist. I think he's the Penn State wrestling coach uh, as of the time of this recording. So... Between Rulon Gardner, Dan Gable, and Kale Sanderson, those are the three that you'll want to pay attention to even more because that will be the difference between selling a $30 to $50 shoe or a $100, $150 to $300 pair of pre-owned wrestling shoes. So here's another example. There's a Dan Gable shoe right there, 65, that sold for, I wonder if we'll see Kale Sanderson on this list here as I scroll down a little bit. I'm I know I'm going a little bit quick here too, but... We only got five minutes and I got a kid taking a nap, so I got to be fast. Um, Nike Air Reversal, that looks like that sold for a great price. There's another pair of Rulons for 120. Somebody got a best offer on. Here we go. Kale Sanderson right here. These, these used ones sold for $100. So, the again, the lesson. When you see a pair of used wrestling shoes, put them in your cart and do the research. I sold a pair of Rulons last year, and I don't remember what the price was. I want to say it was around in between $150 and $250, and found them by accident. So just did the homework, and uh, you'll you'll be you'll be happy with the the return you get. There's another um, Onitsuka Asics. Asics is a brand that kind of dominates the the wrestling shoe market here on eBay, so I've noticed. But you'll make good money on the Nikes as well, and some of the other brands as well. This Onitsuka is like um, an extension of the Asics brand, so you can have both of those in the title. This one sold for $178, and 
if I'm reading it correctly, that's a pair of women's wrestling shoes. So it's even even uh, more interesting. A pair of Roland Gardeners. I don't know why the picture's not showing up here for 500. So that's it. That's all I have for you. Thanks for uh, watching this five-minute bolo. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. And I got to go check on a baby. So I'll see you in a little bit. We just made it. That child is awake.